you know, Brandon, punctuality is so important. And the fact that you can't get here on time Son is of a just gun. really frustrating. You know, we have a show, an obligation. There is breaking news going on, according to Tom Pelissero. Next time hip, I see you, I'm hip dropping you. The hip drop tackle. I'm gonna hip drop you for throwing me under banned. the bus. I was here since 7:30 uh -huh. in the morning. Okay, yeah, we all I was believe here. It. I was totally not just doing my hair because I. I'm here on time. <laughs> it's, I was late. I was late. That, it was me. It was my fault. We here. Tom, the truth is a spectrum grassy. Oh, steering. We you are the, the, we, you are the right direction. Welcome to another edition of the Grassy Burner Show. I Tom steer you towards the truth. That's uh, debatable. You steer us right. Brandon Perna, and this is clip of lies. P. As. Are you wearing a full zip? What? You wearing a full zip? Yeah. Yeah. So I am too. I never wear full zips. Hey, I look, usually. You just got a uh, little circles on the. What's that? This St. Jude. Mine's a bar in the mountains, but same difference. Honestly, combine both those things and you have greatness. St. Jude opens bar in mountains, raises ten gazillion dollars. Done. Done. Kids are healthy everywhere. World saved. You're welcome. Damn, we just did it. We did it. And we get to wear these. Yeah. You can wear either one, right? But that's the dress code. So you ain't got to worry about it. Are we the right. hoodie boys now? We the, well, you just got to be careful. We the hoodie boys? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Well, it. you know what? Yeah. We the hoodie boys? We, we've been worse. So that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got some b -b 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 breaking news because we were going to redraft. Uh, the 2023 NFL draft because there's not a whole lot going on. OBJ apparently has been offered a contract by the Dolphins. We did say see Jerry Sneed gets traded, so we we're talking about that. But breaking news because the NFL coaches meet and they're having their talk, their annual meeting. According to Tom Pelissero, it looks like the hip drop tackle, which we spend all day talking about on Friday, has been banned, which means you can't hold them around the waist anymore, around the hips. And then just go, ah, I'm dead. And then just pull them down. You can't do that no more. Can't do yeah. it. Yeah. You have to think about tackling when you're grabbing a man by his waist now. <sighs> you have to think about doing something to make your job even harder. Do you think like in middle school, like they're going to start enacting this, right? So like, you know, like the middle school dances, like, you know, someone usually puts like their arms around like, your neck and then you like yeah. hold them by their waist if they're playing football do you think they're like no no slapping their hands away just to kind of build that in early yeah they could they can't even do it at middle school dances anymore which is fine because all middle schoolers deserve to get drop kicked anyway and now you can't do it in football can't yeah so this is probably going to result in basically uh one terrible penalty in every game for the rest of eternity yeah, because like this is not roughing the passer where it's already messed up, but at least like that's not going to get called so insanely frequently like in a game. This yeah. and like the rollout of this, I think it's going to be rough. And the fact that it's a 15 yard penalty and an automatic yeah. first, like that you know, is if, damn. If they wanted to do a year where they try and emphasize it more in terms of, of fines and whatever. Sure. I can live with that, but one, it's it's not that big of a problem in the NFL. I believe that. So if you believe that, then if you're arguing against it, it's like, so who cares? It's probably, if it's not that prevalent, then there's not going to be that many penalties and it's not going to affect too many games. That's a possibility. Oh, it ain't spoiled yet, baby. But what we see is like when they, it depends on how they roll this out. Are they going to emphasize, if they use the word emphasize getting it out of the game, we screwed. 
we are oh, the yeah. first six weeks of the season. Right. We're going to be so angry at so many subjective calls that don't feel correct. If they get the call, even if they get the call right, we're going to be like, we're going to be debating whether the intent was like a guy just trying to make a tackle or did he have a choice and he tried to do that. And I don't think many tacklers out there are trying to do this in the NFL. Um, but ugh, it'll be interesting. It, it is going to, because that's the thing. Perna and I, like when we were talking about it, we weren't against them trying to make the game safer. And if you're going to slowly like work this out of the game, sure. That makes sense, yeah. right? You like, know you what? Do... I'm actually anti making the game safer from this point. I okay. think it's been made as safe as possible, actually. <laughs> you're like, I'm done now. I think <laughs> it's as safe as it can be in terms of rules. If sure. they want to get better with the equipment, with helmets, Work sure. on technology that's going to reduce concussions. I think it's it's as safe as it's going to be. It's but, football. It's a there's a part of it that's dangerous, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. three hundred pound people running full speed at one another and tackling one another. So yeah, it's going to do it. Yeah. But yeah, I just am terrified of this rollout. Like just yeah. how they're going to enforce it, what it's going to look like, because. I mean, it, it'll work the technique out of the game. Don't get me wrong, because I mean, like, that's harsh. You know, 15 yeah. yard penalty automatic first. Like, somebody's going to cost their team the game just trying to, like, stop Derrick Henry and just be like, hey, I'm, I'm just trying to bring the guy down. Oh, I'm trying to tackle a guy who is 220 pounds and runs a 4 5 40. Well, Derrick Henry, I already told you, you just go for his ankles. Ankle drop tackle, not hip, ankle drop. Is it ankle drop? Look like Kurt Angle. Um, well, you, I think, tweeted out about this too, right? Because it was said like the NFL was concerned about the amount of points being scored because it dropped yeah. decent, like, what, by like six points or something? Basically, on average it touched down a game. It went like from 49 to 43 points yeah. per game. As soon as I saw that, I knew they oh, were going to get, they were going to ban the hip drop. Flag. NFL is like, uh, uh, too much defense is happening. This is disgusting. Well, it's, it's that because now. Gross. <laughs> Here's the problem, right? We talked about these crappy offenses that existed last year. And there's not just one reason for them to exist. I think you have an increase in mediocre like QB play. I think you have like different defensive techniques that are going yeah. to limit the big play because that's how defenses are going to adapt to a guy like Patrick Mahomes and all the elite throwers in the NFL. But at the same time, like, defense is a part of this game and one that we emphasize a lot but if you're worried about like well now there's not as many points well yeah. darn it like it just like that seems the ulterior motive because you want to make the game more exciting which that's when things start get wonky for me well and that doesn't make sense right like last year was one of the greatest viewed seasons of nfl ever right you're welcome taylor so yeah yeah, like there were more eyeballs on the game that like it was like every week new ratings record, new ratings sure. record. And sure, the offense hasn't like it, it went back to like 2020, I think it was talking about points. Offense hasn't been quite as fun. I, I agree. It feels like defense has been better, but even the Chiefs, the team that won the Super Bowl, their offense wasn't amazing last year. They were a safe offense. They took what was given to them. They relied on their good defense, and they got into the playoffs, and by that time they were conditioned, and they just played smart football. Um, so it, it's weird for the NFL to be like the Kansas City Chiefs, the team that won the Super Bowl, uh, still too boring. Still too boring. Maybe we can make defense a little harder. The other thing I want to say is if I ever get mm. like sued – I want to be sued by the NFLPA because that organization, that association does not scare me. It has got to be one of the least effective associations on earth, Tom. What have they done ever that's actually helped the players? Every time there's the NFL versus NFLPA, you know who wins? NFL. NFLPA runs away with their tail between their legs. If I'm the players right now, I'm pissed off that my representation isn't being hurt. It well, sucks. NFLPA Brandon, sucks. I just Brandon, said it. Let's uh, let's talk about this because this is the thing that there's always something that forces this very harsh fact into the sunlight. You saw it with Dan Snyder all the time. 
Yeah. It's the people that really run the NFL. There's 32 men. There's 32 dudes, right? One's not an owner, but their owners, most of them billionaires. And that's why, like, when Roger Goodell, you know, it gets he's ushered out on stage sure. and everybody boos him. It's fun. Listen, we partake in the booing of Roger Goodell here 100%. And plus, now I know that that man can break my hand with a handshake, too. It makes it even better. So we boo, <laughs> but he's not, he don't got the power. There's literally, like, 32 <clears throat> dudes who have the power, and that's it. You know, it's the owners who are going to make these rules who makes them the most amount of money and all that stuff. And unfortunately, like David Bakhtiari was back tweeting about this again. They're like, oh, they're putting the grass fields. I forget where they were putting it in. I think at AT&T Stadium, maybe. They're like, oh, the grass fields are like, oh, so soccer players get them, but you don't have players do. Yeah. Meanwhile, players yeah. are coming out and the NFLPA is coming out saying, we don't want this. Like that statement was as clear as you could get. They're like, we want the game safer, but this is not the way to do it. It's going to cause too much confusion. And they're like, okay, that sounds good. All yeah. right, great. And then they passed it anyway. Yeah. Not for Strouds, baby. Not for Strouds. So, I just yeah, don't that, get the, the goal there by the NFL. Say again? Sometimes it, the NFL, mm -hmm. I don't get the goal, the point. They're going to say safety, but like players don't want it. Fans don't want it. <laughs> Help. Just the owners. If the owners just decide it's something they want. And they'll be like, we're going to get it because we're the owners. We're the richest. That's mm -hmm. just how that shit works. I mean, just like, dude, we were worried about officiating before. <laughs> like, Yeah, I add mean, another it, subjective call for them. I, and like, And that's actually speaking in favor of the refs. Too, yeah. Right? Because Perna and I were going through the rules on Friday. And there were some we were looking at, yeah. and like we've watched football our entire lives, and are like, dude, like I don't even understand what this is trying to say. It it is a difficult job, right? Maybe you should have full time refs, but it's a difficult job that they're not doing full time, and they're expected to know a lot. And when you add, you you hit the nail right on the head. When you add more subjective <clears throat> calls into it, that's where it's going to be a problem because you could automate a lot of this. You could sure. automate a lot of this and be like, okay, we're good with that. You could still have officials and all that great stuff. So you can still have the human element to that game. But a lot of yeah. calls that are like, hey, that shouldn't have been called. That could be overruled real quick. But we not do. We not do. Defense, good defensive football is great. Especially yeah. when going up against like good offenses. I thought you saw a lot of bad offenses last year and some good defenses. You know, but this is going to make it. I get it. You want to protect your star players so you make the most amount of money. Yeah. I get it. You get the most amount of eyes on the product. I get it. But like Joe Burrow, you know what I mean? Like can't do nothing about that. There's yeah. His, his wrist fell onto the, you know. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Here's the th if they're conservative with this, then maybe it's not that big of a deal. Um also if it benefits my team, then I'm going to love it. If it's the Chiefs, if the Chiefs love to hip drop all of a sudden, if they're the most penalized hip dropping team in the <laughs> NFL, then bravo league. I respect it. Bravo. Oh, I swear, if watching. I win a game off of this, I'm going to be so happy. So happy. Someone just hip drop tackles Stidham. And you're just <gasps> like, done. We win. 15 yard penalty, boot it through. Done. I want to see, I want to see Russell Wilson get penalized for hip dropping a guy after he's like after russell wilson fumbles he chases him down and hip drops him and then uh is penalized for it a okay, quarterback so getting this flag would be the most hilarious thing oh 100 yeah so there's a there's a couple rules that have been enacted now so the detroit one protect the club's ability to challenge a third ruling following one successful challenge so i like that one so sure. that's basically if you have two challenges if you get one right that means that you could do a third one yeah Rocket. That is uh, an indication that the NFL is not fully confident in its officiating. <laughs> Some of these might be used on hip drop tackles. Um, yeah. So, yeah, let's see. This one, allow for enforcer major foul by the offense prior to a change of possession in a situation there's fouls by both teams. So then that's on the offense if it's egregious. And then it's the hip drop tackle. So the kickoff rule doesn't seem like that one was uh, enacted. I guess not. I like potentially dangerous tackling technique. Yeah. Hold on, let's let's we could go in enhance, enhance. That didn't enhance it at all. You're wrong. There we go. Hey Tom, that's go. wrong. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Okay. All right. So initiating replay, right? Minimum of two challenges. Blah blah blah. Okay. So that's just kind of going on through there. 
third one. Yep, that's fine. Okay, and then if you're still out of timeouts, you can't do a challenge still, so that's fine. For, all right, for initiating a challenge when a team has exhausted its timeouts, loss of 15 yards enforced as a foul between downs. Ooh. So, like, again, if you messed up and, like, you have no timeouts and the coach still throws a challenge flag because yeah. they forget or forget the rules, damn, loss of 15 yards. There you go. That's hilarious. Yeah. All right. So it's going to be interesting. <clears throat> See, and it, it always happens. Like, you get worked up about a rule that you don't like, and then it does benefit your team, and you're just like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. Because when the NFL moved the point after attempts back, when it went from, you know, the uh, like a 15-yard field goal or whatever to 33 yards, I hated that rule. I hated the rule change. I was like, this is a stupid thing to do. And then championship game. Soon. Soon. And one of the big proponent, one of the big uh, proponents for it was Belichick and the Patriots. Shit cost them the game <laughs> championship. They missed a PAT, and it was a, a, a difference towards the end there. So I was like, "Ooh, okay." So I, I hope I feel that way about the hip drop by the end mm. of the season. Okay, that's but fair. That's fair. Yeah, the NFLPA. I doubt is, we uh, will. They're hurting right now. The NFLPA is uh, hurting, but I mean. Listen, there's lots of things going on in the NFL. There's lots of things going on in the NFL. How long do you think before the NFL mandates that uh, defenders have to play blindfolded? It's just like the the visor is like blacked yeah, but you out. Can't you see can't out see out of it, anything. Yeah. It's basically like the helmet that Luke Skywalker wears yeah. when he's training. It's like every quarter one defender has to put over the visor so you got one I just defender think everybody who's blind. i yeah. think you just do everybody just do all of them just yeah. like playing in a dome right have yeah. night vision on the screen all the lights off and just see what happens yeah why not love it what if you just take the defense off the field and we just see which quarterback can throw it to the receivers into the end zone the i most. think that's the pro bowl <laughs> Yeah. No, but you get rid of running backs. Nobody wants those fucks on the field. <laughs> don't want to pay those fucks anything. Offensive linemen, don't need them. Just get Patrick Mahomes and the fastest guys on earth and Josh Allen and let them throw right into the end zone. There's your points. That's it. Mm. It's, it's combine all over again. There you go. And they're naked too, right? What? No, Brandon. Why are they always naked? They Hot have wieners flopping around out there. <laughs> Just you ever breakfast. watched a hot wiener touchdown, Tom? I've seen wieners pop out during a 40 yard and in yeah, baby, we want more of that post game locker rooms. Yeah. Looking at you for Shante Shango. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it, it's like, listen, it's just gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a mess. And I don't think that there's a lot of faith because I don't think there's a lot of faith that has been built up and goodwill that's been built up. Uh, on behalf of the officials yep. and just enforcing this. My question is, do you think that, do you think that there's any universe where the rollout of this is so bad they stop it after a year, like the pass interference thing? No, because they, they had like, it. you could challenge pass interference and like, and that was, people were like, yeah, finally we could do that. And it slowed down the game to a point where it was like, this is exhausting. It wasn't even that it like slowed it down. It was that they and never seen change. The officials that never admitted that they got the the call wrong, oh. like it yeah. it was, it was just like okay, we're gonna do this to appease the masses, but we're not gonna actually do it. Yeah, we're gonna make it as bad as possible so nobody asks for it again. Which I yeah. get. I should do that with videos. I don't want to make. That's it. Let's make okay. this one horrible so nobody asks for it. Yeah, just like one you've been hyping up for a while. Like people just like really want it. Yeah. And just I don't like, like doing this anymore. We're like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Uh, we can talk about real quick. So besides, obviously, other rules. Uh, ooh, I'll take that. Cornhole with extra steps. Just mm. a few extra ones. That's it. Yeah. Um, Sneed getting traded. Legerious so, Sneed. So I like this for the Titans. You know, the Titans, they paid him a good amount of money. Like they're 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 paying some premium dollar to go get uh yeah, it's a corner. do it but i think like this is a good trade for them the chiefs getting just a third i know aren't like super pleased as a 2025 third round pick but again talking about leverage there was 
there was very little of it. Yeah, <clears throat> I think it's a, it's it's a great addition for the Titans. Um, Sneed mm. was really good. Uh, maybe a little even underrated for what he did. And I hope the Chiefs are not able to replace his production. So I hope it makes their defense significantly worse. And the Titans much better. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it, I thought I thought they would have gotten more for him for sure. And I, I know paying him the is it like 50, 55 million guaranteed? Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's like a it's, big guaranteed it's all, number, yeah, it's, it's but it's a corner. That's an important position. Yeah, Pay 55 it. is the overall number, yeah. though. Yeah. On, is that true that it's only a flag if they land on the carrier's legs? I'm looking it up right now. Who? It's only going to be a flag when the refs decide it's a flag. That's what's actually going to okay, happen. Okay, so you know what? No, I actually... Okay, so I'm hoping that... I mean, dude, it's going to be so difficult because you have to work against gravity and stuff and be like, oh, no, let me pivot my body so I don't fall on this person's legs. But, yeah, move to eliminate, blah, 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 grabs the runner with both hands or wraps the runner with both arms and unweighs himself by swiveling and dropping, blah, blah, landing on and trapping the runner's legs at or below the knee. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what it is. Yeah, just can't land on him. Can't do that. All right. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, no, I do like the signing for the Titans. It's definitely going to make that defense better. I mean, their D-line is already pretty damn solid. Um, yeah, yeah, I just, the Titans are going to be a weird team, I think, this year in a competitive division. Yeah, it's like, what's the Will Levis experience? Yeah, I mean, when you're going up against Trevor Lawrence, CJ Stroud, and Anthony Richardson. Yeah, I don't know how good Will Levis is, but I know he's fun to watch. So mm -hmm. hmm. That's what I'm, saying. I'm down for it. For defensive ends? I don't know about defensive ends. I mean, unless they're like thrown in coverage randomly or like they're going after someone with the ball. Like the quarterback, I don't think that they're going to have to worry about that because they're just going to have to worry about roughing the passer. But yeah, I don't think so. I don't think did you see this, Tom? I saw that he went to the Steelers. I did see this. Yes, Jerry Jones doodling. Yeah. So I saw like this photo, I don't know, a ton of times. And then, you know, somebody pointed out. <laughs> hey, God, sir. <laughs> I like that there's it's not that it's like it is scribbles. It is just scribbling. But it's I mean it's literally nothing. It's not like some happy faces or little like doodles. It's just I don't know. I That's what my autobiography is going to be. Honestly, this looks like Nathaniel Hackett drawing up an offensive play. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is Russell Wilson scrambling. When there's no reason to scramble. It's on NFL official paper, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the watermark and everything. Look at that. That. Jerry. <laughs> that That is a good offensive game plan right there. So, yeah, what this was in response to, by the way, is he what was What if asked... this was Dak Prescott's new contract? <laughs> here you go, Dak. Uh, we don't know. Like, Jerry's mind's already gone. We just don't know. He's like, here you go, Dak. I'm going to make you as rich as you need to be. He's like, Jerry, this is just a bunch of scribbles. And he's just like, yeah, but how many zeros you see in those scribbles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it definitely hurts still for the Chiefs, but that was in response to asking about um, if Dak Prescott could win a Super Bowl, like all these other quarterbacks could win a Super Bowl. And he's like, no, I think Dak Prescott can be one of those QBs who yeah. could win a Super Bowl. I, I'm not going to lie. It would fill me with so much joy if Dak Prescott went to another team and won a Super Bowl. Oh, the, he came um, to the Broncos and won a Super Bowl? I, the, as long as not against the Packers, that's fine. Like, I yeah. would die laughing if after all this time, he just goes and Tom Brady's it. Like, first year with the team, just goes, wins the Super Bowl, and then it's just like, all right, I'm going to retire. Yeah. Okay. Dak is a good quarter, quarterback. He's a good quarterback. Cowboys are just a flawed team. Tragically. Yeah. I mean, yearly, you know, they also annually. don't show up in the playoffs. They just yeah, don't. That's a tough time to do it. So, yeah. Yeah, and to go back, right. I don't think the Chiefs got fleeced. I would have. I mean, I, I would love to say they got fleeced. We knew Sneed was on his way out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we've known that for a while. They got something for him. They didn't want to pay him, couldn't afford to pay him. You trust the Chiefs to draft oh, that position at this point? And they've moved on from a handful of like good corners over the years, and they've sure. been able to replace the production. So, 
Like, I would imagine they're just drafting a corner at 32. <laughs> like, yeah. we're getting well, another guy that? who's going to be really good for us. You st- hey. Trust him in Spag's defense. He got Chris Jones back. That's a good point. Anyway. Hey, you didn't smoke in two months? Let's go, nice. baby. Let's go. Radler, I don't think, I mean, I don't think unless he's there like day three, like a fifth, like, which I don't Why the think hell are you giving the Packers a quarterback, Jay? Because Goody said that he actually, like, they're always looking for a quarterback. Rattler's my guy. If I can't get a quarterback in round one, uh-huh. Broncos currently don't have a round two pick. I'm praying to God Rattler's available the third and we can get him. I just like whoever I did a video about. So I like Rattler, I like McCarthy, and I like Bo Nix at this point. <laughs> You're going to do an episode on Caleb Williams. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't mind if the Broncos drafted this guy. <laughs> if I just learn about a player, I'm like, that guy's going to be amazing. He's going to be a star. He I is going to be a star. Yeah. Hey, let's go. Let's go, Andrew. Um, you know what? Before we jump into the redraft, sure. I wanna. It's not giving you some props, but I feel like giving you some props. Me? Yes. I recently saw it again over the weekend, and it randomly showed up. Peyton Manning's retirement speech was oh. really well done. Oh yeah, like, you don't. Fuck I feel around. like when it happened, it was kind of just like a whirlwind. There was so much going on, and like. But I went back and I it like just came up on my feed and I watched it again. I was like, you know what? That was like really, really well done. And it just like gave me even more like respect for Peyton Manning. So yeah, it yeah. sucks because and, and this happens, right? Like if your last year as a quarterback isn't good, yeah, it ruins your whole legacy a little bit. Like people it's not remember Peyton out. not playing well that last season, the Broncos winning a Super Bowl, and they're like, oh yeah, that dude. That guy was overrated. <laughs> they forget, like, like when I say I think he's the best quarterback to ever play the game, like, I, I mean that because he earned that respect out of me. Sure. And I thought that about him when he was a Colt. When I watched him destroy mm. the Broncos in the playoffs twice, when I went and watched him live just come back and beat the Broncos, like, that guy is just a different beast at the line of scrimmage. Like, what he does is insane. And the, the 2013 season... Like, he's, he's just so good on top of, like, being funny and nice on the mm. microphone. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> it's hard. It's crazy to me that he doesn't get the respect that I think he deserves because he didn't have the, the same amount of Super Bowls as Tom Brady. Um, See, but that's he, why you get into accomplished, right? Like, Brady's the most accomplished. I don't think he's the most ta- – like, I don't think he's the most talented yeah. guy to ever throw the ball. And, like, Brady, like, physically – Tom Brady and Peyton Manning are similar. Like they're not wowing people with their sure. mobility or uh, I think Tom had probably a, l- a little bit better of, of an arm than Peyton Manning, at least post his neck surgeries. Like Brady threw a, a really pretty football, Yeah, but it was never like, he never had like arm strength, right? Superior arm strength. Brady was very accurate and quarterbacks don't get enough credit for being accurate. But like and Manning, even when he was good, like his 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 spirals are always a little bit wobbly. Yeah, a little ducky. But they always got there. And I don't know. He just didn't look like other quarterbacks. And I don't mm-hmm. think he got enough credit for what was in that giant brain of his. I mean, listen, I think that I don't know if he's the best, but he is one of the best. Like yeah. he's he's like top five. And again, it's just like because the way he thought about the game. Like him going like toe to toe with Brady too. Like those were like some of the best. And like it really just allowed me to go, damn, like we watched like a golden era of football. Yeah. Like I mean, we're kind of like you could say that now, just depends on how it shakes out, but sure. Every like Mahomes is insane. Josh Allen is insane. Lamar Jackson is not as good as CJ Stroud, but is insane. Uh Joe Burrow, great. Aaron Rodgers, if he can be healthy and play another great season, like we want ever there's always a handful of really good quarterbacks but Peyton Manning was so good and he went to Super Bowl with four different head coaches that's true he got Adam Gase a job multiple times <laughs> multiple <laughs> times multiple times yeah. so I'm it's just it, like it's hard to quantify sometimes but mm-hmm. i want to see if i can find this uh that's a, so how do you tackle someone from behind now uh <laughs> You can't go horse collar. 
I think because like if I'm not mistaken, you could still grab somebody and like bear hug them and take them down, right? Like that's still fine. It's just more of just like going dead weight and just throwing it up and then just landing on their legs, I think. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy because you're all like running 20 miles an hour too, so I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, it did not impress me. The new crow trailer did not impress me. And I like Scarsguard a lot, but yeah. No, it's not good. It's not good. You're insane. Honestly, it varies from month to month. Yeah, it's like insane in January. December, it's really good. September, it's really good. End of April, it's good. And then, like, depending on free agency, but other than that, I don't like that tweet. Fluctuates. What are you looking for, Brandon? This throw Josh Allen made. Oh, your favorite quarterback? Yeah. Ah. Uh... Do you like? Is, I know you like the Bills, but I think you like Josh Allen just more, if I'm not mistaken. It could be. Yeah, I'd marry Josh Allen if you wanted. Okay. Me to. So are you? But like, no, but I, I like the Bills. No, sorry, uh, sorry. Are you low key hoping that there's a scenario where like Josh Allen doesn't have the greatest season, <laughs> and because of that, the Broncos <laughs> like the Bills are looking to trade him, and then the Broncos are able to sweep in. Like, would that be a fairy tale ending for you? Yeah. Okay, so it's more yeah. jo- I think I'm starting to figure it out. I'm just trying to dive deeper and deeper into Brandon's love for the Bills because it makes sense, you know, Bills and Bills Mafia, they're dope. But like it's over the top and it's Josh Allen. That's what it is. Josh well, Allen. it really goes down it, it comes down to the early 90s, Tom, in running backs. All right? I was a Broncos fan my whole life. But I love Barry Sanders. So that's why I like the Lions. And the Bills and the Lions are underdogs, and I root for underdogs. I fucking love an underdog. Fair. So they got those two things going. But I really like Thurman Thomas, too. So, like, when I was, you know, impressionable, 9, 10-year-old boy, 11, whatever, playing tackle football, playing running back, I wanted to be like Thurman Thomas. I wanted to be like Barry Sanders. The Broncos mm-hmm. didn't have a premier running back until they got Terrell Davis. So, like, I, I, I that's why I like the Bills. Um, and one of my friends liked the bills. So, and I always liked the bills too, because, you know, Jim Kelly and their offense was good, but nobody, nobody was ever saying Jim Kelly was better than John Elway. And they all Elway, Marino, Kelly all come out of the same draft class. Elway was my favorite, obviously, but I fucking hated Dan Marino. I hated Marino was probably my first quarterback that I really hated because people would argue that he's better than John Elway. I'm like, screw you. He's not better than John Elway. So that's why I, I genuinely liked the Bills. And I'm I've been trying to find it. If we could, I'll I'll do it on GPS because I wrote a, a paper I like when yet. I was in third grade about the, the Bills comeback against the Houston Oilers in the playoffs. Can I grade it? Yeah, you should grade it. Can I grade I, it? Like it's handwritten. It's a whole like I watched that game and then I wrote about it in school. It was a writing assignment. And I, I read it a couple of years ago and I put it somewhere and I can't find it. But it is, it's it's just, it's literally projecting what I was going to do for a career before I knew that. That's pretty amazing. Recapping the game. Um, you should make that a standalone video. You should just I like should. read it and present it just like, yeah. like this was written by third grade me. If I can find it. Uh, I have not watched Dynasty yet. I haven't had a chance to. So I, I heard it was good. It started off good. And then I heard a bunch of like former players who were like, we were interviewed for it and they just focused on all the bad stuff. So, you know, yeah. that, that, you gotta watch out for that edit. Gotta I was trying to find out. this Josh Allen throw against the commanders. Right. Glenn. So, it's not just me. That's what I'm thinking too. I think somebody yeah, posted it. He's rolling out to his right. He throws like this dime to digs. It's the end zone cam. I saw it. if you if anybody can tag me on it on Twitter, please do. Mm. And I will mm. show I will show the, the the throw because it is so freaking good, and it just reaffirms my love affair with Josh Allen, who is going to be a father, by the way. That's fair. I mean, are you a little jealous that he's not your dad? Josh Allen? Yeah. No, my dad's cool. No, I didn't say your dad wasn't cool. But like two I want Josh Allen to be like my brother. Okay. I want to be his older brother, and I want him to credit me for his success. Okay. 
and I want to be we want to re compensated re on a yearly basis for a being his brother. Where yeah. it was just like, hey, I knew yeah. you could be talented. Like if my older brother Brandon Perna didn't pick on me and rough me up when we were little, I wouldn't be so good at football today. That's all. That's all I ask. Listen, all I'm saying is that there was like one prospect at least that knew who I was at yeah. the combine. How far <laughs> away are we for either a player, like a current player in the NFL, either saying screw Tom Grassi and or Brandon Perna or crediting us for anything? You're probably Which, close to credit. You think so? Yeah, sure. See, I want Tom Brady to just say he hates you so that your channel explodes and does really well. Dude, I would love for Tom. Oh, my God. If you got into an online beef with Tom Brady, I Dude. want him on GPS still. I still think that would be an amazing interview. Yeah. And we would just go through the saga of FYTB. We would just go through the entire thing. I will, I will not be biased. I will moderate the entire thing. And we'll have a lovely conversation. Yeah. If I could interview Tom Brady and we just spent 40 minutes talking shit to each other, that's all I'd want to do. That's it. No, that's all I'd want. Like, that's what the video is. And I want, I'd want, i want you to give him all of the stuff to really roast me. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, no, like, I'd give really him attack my character and yeah. uh, my smallness. You know, yeah. if you go after my size, my yeah. uh, brittle, my brittle bones. Let's go, let's go. My... All my shortcomings, and he just really sticks the knife in. Because I'm going to go hard, but I want him to go harder. That's okay. what I want. Okay. I appreciate that. All right, we're well, redrafting? Let's redraft here. Redraft, 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 redraft. Come on now. Let's now, if go, I got to go. interview Josh Allen, what we would do is Josh Allen and I would just talk shit about Tom Brady the whole time. Mm. And Patrick Mahomes. Mm. First question to Josh Allen would be like, what's it feel like knowing you're a superior quarterback to Patrick Mahomes, but you just can't get to the Super Bowl? Do you blame it on your defense? I would if I were you. And he'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna leave. Yeah. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go. And Patrick yeah. Mahomes is good. I'm not saying he's not. Hey, All right, here we go. Congrats on the new job. Let's freaking frack and get it. Wrestling finishers, yes. I want to see somebody get RKO'd. I want to see it. Like the, that, they have they banned the hip drop tackle. They haven't banned the RKO. I'm just saying. They can do an RKO. What's the RKO? An RKO is when usually like someone stands up and you go and like grab them around the neck and then like throw your weight forward so it like slams them to the ground. It's, it's like it's a it's Randy Orton who does it. Um, it's his finishing move. Wrestling. Oh, okay. You, probably, I'm surprised you haven't seen like one of those internet videos. It's like RKO out of nowhere, and they like run up and they RKO somebody. RPOs. RKO. RPO. Close. Close. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah, Marino's so much we better than LA. Thirty minutes, eight minutes before we got to this. <laughs> yep. The 2023 NFL Draft. Da, 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 da. You're on the clock. Okay, well, wait, why is it the Cardinals? Um, I don't know. <laughs> are they trade part? I think you just select. So we are the Carolina Panthers. Okay. Now, okay. Okay, this is going to go so This well. is why this is a, a tough one, Tom, because if you're the Panthers, mm -hmm. I don't think you're trading up to number one. <laughs> Sure, but let's just assume they did it already. Let's just assume yeah. that they did it, right? Because I, I completely agree with you. They're going to be like, no, we'll keep it. We'll draft Caleb Williams this year. Um, so Carolina, I think they're going with C.J. Stroud then. See, this is what sucks because if you're the Houston Texans, yeah. you're like, we are not redoing this draft. No, you're like, we, we will love literally it. redo any draft we've ever done, but not this one, guys. Sorry, Houston. This mm -hmm. is really just a way to slap houston in the the face so yeah they're gonna take cj stroud yeah and you so, know what sucks is cj stroud is not gonna be as good with the panthers so He'll be good but like i mean adam thielen might have 2,000 receiving yards but that's it yeah <laughs> you might like oh he does have some cooper cup left in him mm -hmm. oh hold on 
What? Hold on. Hold on. I want to show you this. Sorry. I know it's like getting back into the hip drop tackle thing. But the NFL just showed a video of what's illegal. Like they gave a, a demonstration, if you will. Sorry. Real quick. Real quick. So that. Which, oh boy. Hmm. Oh, a tackle is illegal now. It literally is a tackle is illegal. Yeah. I... Yeah, so he landed on his legs there. So, like, that's why I could see that one being bad, right? Because he lands on Gino's legs. Yeah, but, I mean, you're oh. trying to ask a defender to... That's the only one that looked bad to me, that one. Yeah, that looked really bad. But that's because quarterbacks are... They play the game like soft little boys. <laughs> that's like... Like that? Like, I don't know what you do with that. Like, yeah. dude, I'm telling you, like, they're running away from you. It's just going to be so difficult. Yeah. It's going to be so difficult. Sorry. I just thought that people would appreciate that because. Uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be tough. All right. So we got the Texans on the clock at two. So do they even go? So they need a quarterback, right? They're going to go Richardson, I think, my friend. I, Will Anderson, you mean? Oh, you think Richardson? Yeah. If you're if you're the Texans, you're not going to so, go. I mean, like. But you We're know talking everything. about what we know now, right? Yeah, so what be... you know. So yeah. do you go... At... I don't know if you go after Anthony Richardson then. I, I think, like, do you go back and do you still just, like, draft Will Anderson? No. Or do you because go get, they like, had to trade up, right? They had to trade up. Yeah. I think their biggest need is quarterback. I think the second best QB would be Anthony Richardson. And I know he got hurt. It makes it really mysterious. But if I'm the Texans... Knowing what we saw from Bryce Young, give me Richardson. Uh, what if he sucks? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if he would go with that. I mean, again, just knowing what you know, I don't know if that gives you enough security. Like, it's either that. Yeah, I, I don't know. They're not. They have to. They need a quarterback. They do. Their quarterback was Davis Mills, man. They do. No, I know. So then, all right. I, I thought they would lean towards Anderson and say, screw it. Like, we're going to be punting it away for QB and hoping to get a better one. No, all right. That's easy for me. All right. All right. Now you got the cards. This is this is where the, the Texans traded up to get Will Anderson. Yes. So um, they could just get Will Anderson again. <laughs> or they could know. get Puka Nakua. Ooh. The Cardinals draft Puka Nakua here? I mean, they do need a uh, they need a wide receiver. Yeah. But they could get a Will Anderson. Um, a Jalen Carter, I think, would be nice for them, too. Yeah. But, I mean, well, see, the cards are, are tricky, right? Because Kyler Murray was coming. He was torn ACL. Yeah. Mm. If Bryce Young fell to them at three, would they just go, you know what? No, we I don't think expect so. him to be there. I don't think so. Hmm. I think, yeah, I, I they could upgrade their secondary. They need an edge. So like, Will Anderson would be nice. Yeah, I think, honestly, either one would be fine. Anderson, Carter would be okay. Even Witherspoon, you could throw back there. Yeah. Hmm. I think they would just take Will Anderson. Yeah. All right. Or they... Do we try and... I don't want to try and trade back into it. <laughs> like that's too complicated yeah no trades that's my rule no trades no trades all right so they'll they'll take will anderson i think he's josh I mean, it's like sister is pregnant it's gonna be an uncle not a dad oh uh, i thought it was uh <laughs> i thought it was Haley steinfeld was pregnant unless <laughs> unless <laughs> there you go all right so then we'll give them will anderson Ooh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, nerd. <laughs> Fucking stat nerd. Nothing pisses me off more than this. You want to get outside of Boomer? You want to get under my skin? Please. Fuck off. <laughs> That's how you go. And I mean that. I don't mean it literally. I mm. swear to God. Sod. You son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, Elway was bad. Okay, so do the Colts go Bryce Young or do they go Anthony Richardson? They can't go Richardson. We gave him to the uh, 
I forgot that you did that, and I still disagree with it. But Texans okay. got Richardson. So do they go Bryce Young? Ooh, what does Shane Steichen want here? Which mm. Q? It's true. Yeah, that's those are all your options there. That's what I want to hear. Patrick Mahomes, I won the Super Bowl for Brandon Perna. I think instead of you got John Elway to give you the Lombardi, the next time they win another one, bring out Brandon Perna. And Brandon Perna's just like cursing under his breath. He's like, someone burst from his hands of the Lombardi. You know how many millions of dollars they would have to pay me to do that? None. All of them. I mean, that'd be pretty dope. That'd be pretty dope. If Mahomes if, just talked shit to me after no, winning. If a... you, ha if he specifically asked, he's like, I want Brandon Perna to come to the Super Bowl because that one time that we freaky frauded and I want him to hand me my Lombardi trophy. Yeah. I want that. Yeah. All right. Ooh, do the Colts take Bryce Young? Thank you. I think or would go, they go Will Levis? Who would Shane Steichen pick at this point? I think they go Bryce Young in that case. Because <clears throat> if it wasn't Bryce out, Young would do a lot better with the Colts. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You know what? Like we saw Gardner Minshew do all right with him. I think it's a similar performance from Bryce Young as a rookie. Now, ooh, Witherspoon was great. Seahawks just stick with Witherspoon. Ooh, that or Carter. Yeah, but Witherspoon's really good for them. I go Witherspoon. Yeah. Because, like, if you don't take Witherspoon, you're probably still kind of looking for a corner. Yeah. Take Carter. It's because they're they, they want they need a presence in their interior, but yeah, they'll stick with they'll stick with Withy Spoon. So just an FYI, just to follow up on the hip drop too. So the committee chair, Rich McKay, said that officials will be told they need to they can call penalties for swivel hip drop tackle, but they must see all three elements. So unweighing into legs uh needs to be on there as well. It's like it needs to like, um, then they won't call it again. Oh yeah, I, okay. I'm just giving you what they said. Right. Not they're not going to say a single thing that's going to make me feel good about it. Someone goes also notes there's no way to get reps officiating it since it doesn't happen in practice. <laughs> <laughs> this is going nice. to be such a crap show. This is going to be a crap show. We're actually yeah. practicing the hip drop tackle, so we don't do it in the game. Yep. Unfortunately, we now have a lot of guys on IR. Detroit Lions. Oh, God. Oh, dude. I feel like if you gave them Christian Gonzalez or like... Because mm. they did... What did what they trade? They trade? What did they do here? They... Yeah, because they got Gibbs eventually, right? They got so... Gibbs and uh, Jack Campbell in the first round, right? Yeah, so I think they... Because they traded, right? Let's see here. Mm, it is impossible. Let me refresh my stupid brain. This will be a hard one to call on the field. You have to see every element of it. We want to make it a rule so we can deal on the discipline during the week. Yeah, the Lions traded back. So the Cardinals were picking at six. That's go. when they took Paris Johnson. You know what? <clears throat> Let's just keep Gibbs. I think the we we criticized the Lions for taking him. Uh, I said no trades, so they got to decide between Gibbs and Jack Campbell. I think they're going to go. I think they go with Christian Gonzalez, dude, because like it would make their secondary better. While Gibbs is good, don't get me wrong. Like in terms of Ooh. needs, like they still need to address secondary. Gonzalez was really good before he got hurt. Fair. Like, I All mean, right, it, we'll it, give him. Go That's fine. You know. You know, and then they can just cut Cam Sutton before he gets yeah. accused of domestic violence. Everybody wins. Easy. Uh, oh, Jalen Carter on the Raiders. Because mm. they went Tyree Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh dude, they're like monsters among men. It's insane. It is insane. Yeah, you know what? Let's give him Jalen Carter. I like it. You're right. Right? Why not? Bam. Make their D line even more insane. Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter. Hmm. All right. So Falcons, they, said, they stick with Bijan, right? They don't redo it. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. Well, Brian Branch, I see you. I well, see you. yeah, yeah. 
That's correct. Yes. That's correct. All right. Yeah. Why not? Stick with Bijan. Why not? Chicago. <laughs> They're just sitting there at nine. Now, we know they traded for Keenan Allen. Yeah, they go offensive line. Like, they could use a wide receiver, but they still need offensive line. Now, like, where did they... They they moved... Where are they at? Eight? They moved... They were at oh, 10. Oh, I heard about that. They ended up at 10, and they took Darnell Wright. Yes. Okay. Ooh, what if they just go Skaronsky? Who's better, Wright or Skaronsky? Wright was or... okay for them. He's pretty solid for them. I don't even know what Skaronsky did this year. And that just I just don't know. Yeah. Who cares? It's a tackle, right? <laughs> like... uh, I heard about this. Yeah, but I heard... Did you hear about this, Brandon? Sorry to interrupt. No. The uh, 72-year-old Denver Nuggets fan who got banned from... The oh, Denver. I saw somebody tagged me on yeah, Twitter. But, like, she was, like, handing stuff, like, to the officials. She was, like, staying there with the families when she was asked not to. So, apparently, it was repeated over and over again. So... I mean, yeah, I wasn't gonna look into it because I didn't care. That's fair. That's fair. And honestly, I don't think seventy. If you're seventy or older, you shouldn't be allowed to go to sporting events oh, anyway. Scott, hope you feel better soon, buddy. Hope you feel no better old soon. people at sporting events. That's what I say. Go see that doctor. Go see that doctor. Yeah, I'll go offensive lineman. Um, yeah, it's just Garonsky or uh, right. I don't know, man. Hold on, I was trying to find something here. Let's see. How did he do? I'm just going to go and see who is higher, more highly rated. Yeah, how do you play for the Titans? Skronsky wasn't too bad. Paris Johnson Jr. too. Yeah, who is the best? Mm. Mm. It is going to take all day. It's going to take all year. It could take forever. We'll get cooking. Yeah, and then that's going to get flagged too. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a problem. Yeah, give him just give him uh all right so give him right there you go right made all rookie there you go give him give him right well who is right darnell, darnell right yeah. they're gonna go with him again sure all right all right That's... philadelphia so they Ooh. bro oh oh because they don't have jalen carter they don't they went all georgia all the time Scroll on down a little bit because they do eventually go Nolan Smith too, but that was yeah. later. So they took Jalen Carter at nine, and then when did they draft again? It was probably the second round. No, into the first, they got Nolan Smith at mm. pick thirty. Mm. That's a good. Broderick one. Jones, Michael Mayer, Zay Flowers. Ooh, do you know they go Gibbs? They, oh. they had Swift. Yeah, but they're they don't have Swift now. They could go offensive line. I like them going Gibbs. Their secondary yeah. wasn't as good, right? They had that was true. They did like Paris Johnson, right? The Eagles did. The Eagles like Paris, like Paris Johnson. Johnson? Yeah, because he he visited with them. All right, let's give him a boring ass pick. Suck it, Eagles. Tennessee probably goes Skronsky, which didn't he end up on Tennessee anyway? Yeah. Well, actually, sure. dude, if they need a wide receiver, which they do, I'd like I would draft Puka here for the year that he had. Puka, or would you still go Zay Flowers? I go Puka. I mean, Puka had right, a better year. Puka. Puka had a much better year. Well, yeah, but Puka had Stafford dealing him a thousand dimes. Sure. But this is like after the fact, you knew it, you know? <laughs> it's so, going to be so funny. Where the fuck is Puka? <laughs> is Puka! he even on here? There he, there is. he is. One. Bam. You're welcome. You're welcome, Tennessee. There you go. All right. Ooh. Now. Like, they went they edge, actually... right? They made the move for Will Anderson. Yeah. They get Tank Dell later, right? Was Tank Dell a rookie? Tank Dell later, yeah. They. So Nico do they Collins. Go Zay? What's that? 
Zay? No Zay? I think Zay I maybe. I feel like a Zay. Zay or Jordan Addison, I think, would be solid. I think Addison would do well there, too, but I'd take Zay. Yeah. Bam. Packers Brian are Branch. on Brian the clock. Branch. Brian Branch. Brian Branch. Brian Branch. <laughs> now, wait a second, though. You guys, who did you take right here? Did, Lucas Van Ness. Take- we took Lucas Van Ness. We went oh, edge rusher. right. No, this is it. I can finally undo my sins. Yeah. Give me Brian Branch. We needed safety. It was our number one thing. He did really well. Yeah, we got Xavier McKinney this year. That's okay. fine. Give me. Let me just ask you one question. Brian. Because I think it's between two lions. Brian Branch, or you could take Sam Laporta right here. Brian Branch. Brian Branch. Give me Brian Branch. Give me Brian. Okay, I'm going to give you Brian Branch. Branch. Give me Brian Branch. He was, oh, you just passed him. Ah, Go back up. I drafted him. I drafted him for you. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay. We did it. (laughs) Finally. All right. So, ascend. the, The Patriots cannot get. Why am I not disappearing? Oh, they moved back anyway, Why didn't they? Why am I they? still here? They went back to 17 to take Christian Gonzalez. All right. Ooh. Maybe Joey Porter Jr. because they needed corner. Yeah, they still go corner. You're right. Oh, what a day. What a day. Bam. What a day. Okay. The, Jets. the New York Jets. They failed to wrap. They it. took Will McDonald. Had a farm. Deep I into really the like Will McDonald coming out of the draft. What did he do? Oh, McDonald had nothing? a Nothing? Did Will McDonald do nothing for them? They draft Will Levis. <laughs> we drafted the wrong Will. I mean, honestly, with Aaron Rodgers getting hurt. Sk- I'd give him Skaronsky. <laughs> like, right? Give him offensive linemen. Yeah, that's good. Right? I mean, they need it. <laughs> Who's going to deny that? All right, who do the commanders take? Ooh. They took corner Emmanuel Forbes. That was their first pick, Forbes. I, would, I mean, their offensive line was bad as well last season. Like, I feel like they could go for, like, a Broderick Jones. Maybe. How did Broderick Jones do? Yeah, but, like, also, what did they do, right? They, they traded um, Chase Young and Montez Sweat. Would they maybe try and get their replacement as well? Mm. Dude, this edge class was not. You're saying like the names weren't like insane. Yeah, the production, you know. I know Yaya. All right, Broderick struggled last season. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Hmm. I mean. Oh. All right, so don't give him Broderick. Don't no, they it. can go tackle. I think that's a smart move for the. But he struggled Manders. last year because this is they know what kind of player that they are, or at least an idea. Oh, right. Season. Okay. Yeah, you know I don't mean? know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. 100%. Cancy, Cancy wasn't bad, right? Mm. Dalton mm. Kincaid. Ooh, because they, they, they are going to need a tight end, right? They moved on from Pretty Logan much. Thomas. Maybe oh, they go so Dalton Sam Kincaid. La- Why don't they go Laporta? Well, either one. Yeah, go Laporta. Why not? All Why right. not? Sorry, Sam. You just the <laughs> we just ruined Sam Laporta's life. Man, man. We just absolutely ruined Sam Laporta's life. Yeah, because they signed Zach Ertz, right? Yeah, sorry. Tight didn't make sense. Let's go Laporta. Sorry, Sam. So sorry. Look at him all the way down here at 59. Damn. Yep. RIP. Oh, no, Lions aren't going to be as good. Oh, man. Steelers what picking at 17. Ooh. Well, we know no, they're going to be in the... What if they go Levis? I mean, oh. at this moment in time, Will Levis, Justin Fields, Russell Wilson, 
I don't know who's better, Tom. I no, really honestly, don't. Honestly, though, I think because they eventually get rid of Deontay Johnson. If they is Addison still there? Well, they got Smith. They got Smith in Jigba, Jordan Addison. Yeah, you want to give them Addison? I mean, you could. That's not their biggest need. They need offensive line, but oh, there's there's Tank Dell. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think. I think they're. they're I'm probably, gonna give them Dontavian Wicks. That'd be cool, but I don't think they need him here. I think they need to go offense. I'm gonna take offense him from of, you. I think O line probably no. It's my Dontavian Wicks. Um, All right. We want tackle. Interior O line. Uh, eh. Who's the best one? Yeah, just go. Mm, no, Puka's not available anymore. You think Tank Dell for Steelers? No mayo boy. <laughs> well, yeah. So people are saying Osiris too. Because that's who the uh, Jaguars wound up drafting, right? Yeah. How good is he? Uh, yeah, give him Osiris. Why not? I don't care. It's the Steelers. Why not? Whoever that lineman is, they're going to look horrible trying to protect Russell Wilson. Oh, Cyrus went to the Bills. I apologize. Then who did? Oh, Harrison went to the Jaguars. That's my mistake. I apologize. They are going to block for seven seconds and still give up a sack. That's Sorry. what's going to happen in Pittsburgh. Ooh, that's a good question. Russ in his prime or Chiefs three-peat? What's worse? Which fate would be more painful for you as a Broncos fan? Like Russ, Russ turning amazing, back or... into prime. Oh, a Chiefs three-peat. There you go. Yeah, oh. like at least Tree can enjoy Russ playing well, you know? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Lions, because uh, they, all right, so. They can still get their guy, Jack Campbell. Do you think you go with him in the first? Like he had a, I know in the beginning of the year, like he was doing pretty well. And then. Ooh, maybe they steal. Maybe they go. Maybe they go Dalton Kincaid because they didn't get Laporta. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I like that. I like that. All right, Tampa. The Ooh. Buccaneers took Elijah Cansey. That's right. Okay. So we know Baker's good. I don't think they need another receiver. Yeah, the only argument you might make is what, linebacker? I think they just go Cansey again. Yeah, I might go linebacker because, um, especially with Devin White leaving too. Linebacker, LB. But then they're going to have to replace Cancy, right? Mm. Yeah, how did Tyree Wilson do last year? I feel like I did not hear his name a lot. He had like three and a half sacks. Okay. I remember thinking he was a really good pick for the Raiders, and then, you know, I didn't hear a lot about him. Okay. Okay. Oh, what about Gibbs to... Ooh. To Tampa. That'd be interesting. Why not? Gives Baker a weapon, too. I like that. I'm okay with yeah. that. Oh, no. Not the Lions getting worse. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry. We gave we gave the Lions Dalton Kincaid over Gibbs. Deal with it. Why did we give the Lions Gibbs? I don't know. No bias here, guys. Nothing. Which running backs are still available? Ooh, they can get A-Chan. Ooh, Ooh, what about Devin A-Chan? They took Zach Charbonnet, but if we're talking about explosiveness, Itaje Spears pretty good. I'll go, yeah, A-Chan would be fun. To the Seahawks? A-Chan would be fun. Hmm. H-Hand to the Charger. Ooh, H-Hand to the Ravens. That'd be really <gasps> cool. Ooh, who are we going to give H-Hand? But does the, do the Chargers pick him up beforehand because, you know, it didn't work out with Eckler? Yeah. So I, like, you know, you could give him JSN. You could give him JSN. They picked JSN. Ah, fuck it. Suck it, Seattle. Good. All right. I kind of like H-Hand to the Chargers. I do, too. Do it. Sorry, Miami. 
dude but i would if you stick with like running back I'd be like charbonnet right because he runs like he would do very well i think with the baltimore ravens if they were going running back again yeah they needed receiver oh they didn't get zay but... oh go addison yep i like that good, good thinking good thinking. aha minnesota you get stuck with quentin johnston <laughs> Wait, why would they draft him, though? They wouldn't draft him. I'm very happy he went there. Yeah, they did. Okay, great. No, he just had, like, I'm going to give Quentin another year. No, I think it was just a rough rookie year. I think there was any receiver they would go with, though. It would be, like, Tank Dell or Rasheed Rice before it would be Quentin Addison. Addison, excuse me. Or Quentin Johnson. Jesus. Okay. Jaguars. Who did they take last year? We just, we went through this. We just went through this. They, um... Anton Harrison, yeah, Anton. offensive line. They traded back. Is there a good offense? Hold on, go all. Who's there still? Mm. Do they go Broder Jones? <laughs> sure. Why not? Why not? You could always use an offensive line help. Plus, they spend way too much money on their offensive line anyway. Yeah, Harrison's right there. You can give him the same one if you want. Yeah, but I don't know how good good they could get a corner. They could get tied in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they can fuck it. You get Broderick. All, All right. right, Giants. Jesus. Well, Levis. <laughs> can we no, just they- hand in our franchise? <laughs> what if they go Levis? I, yeah, I just said that. <laughs> They, oh, sorry, I didn't. Yeah, no, it's okay. They could do Van Ness. No, um, it's Levis, baby. All right, give him Levis. Give him Levis. <laughs> Let's give him the Mayo man. I mean, talk about a team that needs a linebacker. It is the Dallas Cowboys. Mm. Also, they if they go wide receiver, they could go Tank Dell. Like, because they needed somebody. Like, Cooks was fine in, like, stretches, but... Yeah, what? they took Maisie Smith. On their defensive line. Because they need to they need to stop the run. They were trying to stop the run. Yeah. And Maisie Smith was pretty good, right? Uh he didn't do because they made so I talked to Scooter about that. They made him lose a ton of weight and uh-huh. uh it just didn't really work out the way they wanted it to. But we'll see how he goes his second year. I think maybe they go Tyree Wilson then. Nolan Smith doesn't he's right, he was injured, right? I mean, yeah, he got injured. Van Ness is not bad. Um, he's just a raw talent. Maybe they go Kalijah Cansey. If they still want that defensive line, Cansey is probably better. Yeah, why not? Why not? All right, who's your team? Who your team getting? Are you going to get Tyree Wilson? Or are you going to get an edge rusher? Because you know, mm. yeah, but nobody was great as, as edge. I would say Van Ness is like solid. Van Ness was solid for us. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Looking at some uh, secondary players. Matt Milano got hurt, right? That was yeah. a big thing. Maybe they get Jack Campbell. Yeah, was there anybody that was, like, insane that stood out at linebacker last year? Michael know. Mayer. Mm, Luke Musgrave Luke. was good. Oh yeah, Luke Musgrave would actually be a nice pick for them because they didn't get their other tight ends. Yeah, I think Michael Mayer. Okay. He went he went to the Raiders, right? And I yep. think just didn't get the opportunities or looks. You guys Musgrave came along there. Um do it up. Give him Michael Mayer. Running backs, okay. Offensive line. Taking my time. Making my way downtown, walking fast, fast. All right, fine. I'll give him Michael Mayer. I think he would do well in Buffalo. All right. I think we'd be talking about him a little more like Dalton Kincaid. Ooh, Cincinnati. Need some secondary help. Um, They took defensive end Miles Murphy. I mean, honestly, Van Ness would be a nice pick for them here then. Just speaking completely biased as a Packer, but. Over Tyree Wilson? If you Tyree Wilson didn't do that well, last, I'm just be I just know Van Ness better. All right, boom, you get Van Ness. Saints, 
God, a better cap. Uh, <laughs> I was looking at quarterback too. I don't know. Uh, Ooh. Give him a corner. Who did they take? Saints went Brian Brissy, Breezy, Breezy, defensive tackle. You give him the same, <laughs> go the same way. Hmm. I bet. Hmm? You never have enough corners, right? Deontay Banks. Sure. All right. Who do we draft with Philly before? Paris Johnson. Paris Johnson. So, so now they go get like a, like, dude, like give him Tank Dell. <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. Don't give him Tank Dell. Don't give him Tank Dell. <laughs> We're going to save Tank Dell. We're going to save. We're going to save. You get a new uh, defensive or offensive coordinator. Oh, they're going to they're gonna put up numbers. They're going to put up numbers. Oh, wait, because they didn't get Jalen Carter or anything like that, too. Maybe they go get, like, Van Ness. You know, they share up that defensive line a little bit more, or they get offensive line. Oh, Jack Campbell would be pretty good. I like that pick, too. Campbell would be pretty solid. LB. Yeah, go linebacker. Go people saying Jack Campbell. I like that. I like that. Bam. That Tank works. Tank Dell to the Chiefs. Tank Dell to no! the Kansas City no! Chiefs. That no! makes sense. And you no! can't even deny it, Brandon. It makes sense. Tank Dell right there. Number 75. No, Tank because Dell. look, they get Rishi, Rishi no, Rice later. They get Tank Dell at 75. That's what they, you know they do. They could go get Jaden Reed. They could go get Dontavian Wicks. But you know that they're going to get Tank Dell if they knew. The scriptwriter always wins. Tank Dell just makes sense. Just makes sense, Brandon. Nope, they got Michael Jones. Did you just get... <laughs> they got Michael Jones out of Tulane. Oh, you think I'm going to give him Tank Dell? I tried. My brother in Christ. I Not tried. on my watch. All right, last pick. Who do the Steelers get? Steelers could take Mims or Tank Dell. <laughs> Josh Downs started to look good. Like, There's... Marvin Mims didn't get the opportunities. He would get Russell Wilson again. That would be funny. Great special teamer. Tank Dell. Who else do they need? They, we gave him line. You want to just give him more line? No. Hmm. <laughs> Kobe Turner, I yeah, I forgot about Kobe Turner. That's on me. But if you're the Steelers, but we already Porter's already gone, right? Yeah, I think Porter's already gone. Just go to all. We give him Forbes. I give him Forbes. Why not? We did right. it. Totally no bias whatsoever. Damn. Not at all. This is round two, so we did it. Oh, we did oh. it. That was it. Oh. <laughs> Thank so God. the Chiefs would get Tank Dell, is what the, uh, the obviously. No, nope. Chiefs got who they got. <laughs> you get what you get, and you don't get upset. Chiefs got who they got. Uh uh. God. Now, can we see our whole draft board? Pardon, what do you got coming out today, buddy? Uh, I didn't get my video up Friday about the Jaguars' twenty-two million dollar heist man, so that should be coming up later today. Nice. I was going to do a team reaction, but now I think I'm going to do a NFL reaction to the hip drop tackle. So there you go. I think we're going to do that. Yeah. So, but yeah, team reactions coming out this week, folks. We'll be back maybe on Wednesday, uh, depending on what the news is. Definitely Friday. One or the other. We'll probably just skip one of those this week unless yeah. crazy news happens. But folks, I appreciate the heck out of you. I got to go poop. I'm Tom I got to That's Brandon Perna. This is GPS. And you have been navigated. <laughs>